If you guys have not watched the Neil Pickup and Ingen Terzi live stream yet, make sure to go check that out. But in this podcast, Neil shares a very interesting perspective in regard to the first time Devin pulled Levon. I haven't thought about it quite in the way that Neil articulated it in this video, but it does make quite a bit of sense. Let's take a look at the clip. In Dubai, the result may have been the same had Devon Larratt not got injured, but there is a very real chance that the result may have been very different. But what is undeniable is that we didn't see that match play out with both men able to impart their strongest game. Because I was in Dubai, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, we didn't see that last time. I was standing right there and we didn't get to see it. It never happened. The match hasn't happened yet. Oh, but it's gonna. One of the things that makes a match so much more exciting is the idea of the unknown. And I think that as this match gets closer and closer, we may have gained some clarity as to the level of Devin, but really, if we look at the match as a whole, we don't have much of a clue as to either guy's level. Devin has blasted through pretty much everyone he's faced over the last year and has yet to find a balance point with one of his opponents in his open top row lane that would give us an indication of his max level. And Levon, on the other hand, has been recovering from an injury this entire time and we haven't seen him posting any training videos that reveal his current level. So is Devin currently 1% stronger than his former peak? Is he 20% stronger? I have no idea. Is Levon 20% weaker than his former peak or is he 20% stronger? Again, there's really no way for me to gauge this. And initially, this would have been a bit disappointing for me in the buildup. But the more I've thought about it, this has actually become one of the things I love about this match. In so many of the matches we've seen with these guys over the last few years, we kinda knew the outcome before it happened. And a lot of that was based upon their previous proven levels. And the point that Neil is making is that the only real moment we had to gauge how close Devin and Levon are to each other is two seconds in round one. Once Devin is injured, he's a totally different person. It's almost as if we saw two super matches that night. A one round super match between Devin and Levon that left us with so many unanswered questions. After this, we saw a five round super match between injured Devin and Levon in which we didn't need any answers to begin with. Another thing Neil talks about is the potential of a reversal in this match, a situation in which this time around Levon's wrist does not hold up. In this case, we would still be left with so many unanswered questions which would be super unfortunate for multiple reasons. The point of all of this is to say that the result of the match is not really the main point. The whole point of this rematch is to finally get these questions answered that we've had for the last two years. What would have happened if Devin didn't get injured? If Devin stops Levon, can Levon still just flop press him after this easily? Does Levon have the ability to climb up over a king's move as well as someone like Ermes? And would we eventually see a double king's move? The only way for these questions to be properly answered is for both of these guys to come in strong and healthy and remain uninjured throughout the duration of the super match. And that's really all that I care about in this match. As long as the match goes the full distance and our questions are answered, I'll be happy with either guy winning. And hearing Neil pose this match in this particular light has made me change my perspective a bit. I honestly am hoping now that Levon never puts out a wrist curl video that reveals his level. At this point, I would rather have mystery over certainty in this match. And as things are shaping up, that might be exactly what we get. Let me know what you guys think about this. Would you rather see a buildup in which we know as much as possible about both guys level? Or would you rather have a situation where we know as little as possible to make that very first ready go even more tense?